Right, this is a little exercise in using calsky.com www.calsky.com to identify what trails are on your satellite images if you so wish to do. So this was Betelgeuse taken last night and there was a trail across there, a little bit indistinct. So rotating it around to be north upwards and enhancing it gives that and I've also turned it into a negative image uh, so that you can see the stars a little bit more clearly and the trick is to identify star patterns that look a little bit familiar so we've got well not necessarily familiar but they look a little bit easy to recognize so those two they are two bright stars together and a another one sitting over there so we can think of that as an arrow pointing in that direction there are no other really notable two stars up there uh, but these are all nondescript things I wouldn't be able to recognize those too close together but they might be a bit faint so there's there's our test image we want to find out what satellite caused that that trail so on CalSky when you first switch it on it'll have a guess at where you happen to be now you can register and put in exact details and and have it remember that each time you switch on but for our purposes we'll just leave it as uh, the local area that you're on and then we've got various things sitting along here we've got satellites deep sky meteors all kinds of stuff so hit satellites and then you can track space station transits, satellites within interval. We know the time uh, that the photo was taken, so satellites within interval could be the one. And we also need to look down here at something that's hidden away. That you, for some reason, this menu is this panel is stretched out. Uh, but we, we don't want to track every satellite in the sky, that's a little bit much, so searching for satellites within a certain area. But hidden away, hard to see, is click here for a field of view. It must be at least one degree, uh, so we'll click there f to set the field of view. And here's where we put it in. So what we need to do is to get the coordinates here into these areas. So right ascension um, 05 colon 55 colon 10.3 and declination was 707 24 25.4 always go back and check what you've typed because we made a mistake there 07 24 25.4 that's okay um, now I'll just go go on that and, and just check what happens so here we go there, there's clearly that's Betelgeuse um, looking for those stars to identify I can't see a thing it's all too confusing we might have it upside down but at least we've got the right area but what is quite disconcerting is that it's put it back to deep sky and you can fiddle around with this wondering what has happened but it's gone back to deep sky for putting in the coordinates uh, or we haven't checked the, the degrees uh, one degree I'm going to make it two just to see what's happening uh, and then you've got to go back to satellites so that step I think is quite easy to miss then within interval and we need to put in the time and date um, of the photograph now that if we hop onto the photo in this program fast stone viewer there it is it's the 4th of Feb 1855-46 4th of Feb 1855-46 the program is not psychic um, I have run through this and it has remembered it so that's good 
and we're looking at this one searching for satellites within an area the duration not 12 hours we want to narrow down to I would say within a minute that might be an answer so dates correct location is correct I hope the coordinates are still correct and we can then try go and see what happens right there's a result Monday 4th of February it thinks it's Cosmos 2392 sometimes it's half a dozen of these down here that, that it finds uh, I can't remember, oh the, the magnitude is set to 9.5 if you change the magnitude to something else then you might get more or, or, or fewer so that looks alright then here is a little map of the sky that it's it's apparently drawn a picture of uh, underneath here we've got star chart so let's try that see what happens and hey presto there is I'm not quite sure why it's put a lot of dot uh, circles on this that doesn't really help making it a bit bigger um, I think this is it's trying to look at magnitudes I think and, and it's putting a magnitude obviously a faint star and it's putting a, a magnitude symbol there might be a way of turning that off limiting magnitude let's try seven go ah there we go so that's got that right uh, not quite sure why it was doing that the but this has made it a lot easier so we've got a pass going down in that direction um, which I think is not quite what what I had here because I had it rotated in in that position so if I take this image and I rotate it um, left and I flip it vertically and horizontally and save that as version 2 so we've now got the satellite trail going sailing past in that direction right well that was all a little bit confusing I got lost uh, oh dear reminder your session expires in only three minutes uh, so better get a move on um, I've refined it a little bit and changed the time slightly the, the clock in the camera may have been off a little bit so I've set it to, to that narrowed it down to duration two seconds which I think might have been yeah it was a two second image uh, and I've made the intervals it'll show the path every point one of a second um, and if we hit go now we get this and it's it's really it's ab about the right sort of length if we compare it to the image that we had here so the there should be those stars let's have a look for a kind of trapezium stars there uh, it might be those but I'm, I'm puzzled why I can't see I suppose yes the, that that star and that star uh, and those two might be that one that one and might ah there it is right on the edge of the screen there they are so there should be one between the two there let's have a look at that yes it's that one the, the stars on the photo on the image are tiny little things and on the on the picture that we've got here they're much brighter which is what's confusing so two there nice triangle in that position 
Yep, there they are. One, two, three. So, fairly accurate plot. And then we can check what we want to see. It's Cosmos 2392, when it was launched, all kinds of details like that. I'd forgotten that they do uh, limit to you. They don't want people on here all day. Possibly you can pay a subscription and get that for for free, I don't know, but uh, it only blocks you for an hour, so come back tomorrow and it should be fine. So there we are, we have identified exactly what that satellite was.